seconds, the beautiful Paris of the West was reduced to a crumbling heap. Then the fires began and raged for three days, threatening to wipe San Francisco off the map. You, like me, a seventh-generation Californian, may be researching your pre-1906 San Francisco grandparents and discovering many records were lost, slowly becoming frustrated with the process. However, all is not lost. Through the hard work of a fifth-generation San Franciscan with the same entrepreneurial spirit as her pioneer ancestors, help has arrived. Raking the ashes allows us to see how our family could have lived, loved, and ultimately passed our heritage down to us. Originally, Raking the Ashes was done as a revision of a book that uh, Kathy Beals had written, a little tiny pamphlet that Pat Kathy Beals had written on how to do San Francisco research, you know, 20 pages. Then when the centennial came up, the centennial of the San Francisco earthquake, we needed a project at CGS. I had been doing this for 20 years, researching my mother's ancestry. Who, uh, all of her ancestors came to San Francisco between 1847 and 1875. If you have any San Francisco ancestry, you really should buy the book. There's, uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing like it out there. If you were to, to hire a researcher, it would cost you twice as much as the cost of the book, and you'd only get a little bit done. You might as well buy the book, solve your question, solve every other question you might ever have to the end of time. Will I be at San Francisco Ancestry Day? I certainly will. Uh, not only to sell the book, but also to answer your questions, anybody that comes. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's a marvelous opportunity for both CGS and for Ancestry. We look upon this as, um, as a way of interesting people who have never done genealogy, as well as educating those who have already done it. <laughs>